This is a once in a decade review of the efficacy and effectiveness of couple and family interventions. And so it provides the most up-to-date, cutting-edge information for clinicians who are practicing couple and family therapy. When clinicians are working there in the trenches, they're all day long seeing clients and science is constantly evolving. So um, we're learning more and more about how mental health and behavioral conditions come about. You know, what are those mechanisms of etiology? We're also learning a lot about how to help people change and how to help people improve. And so as that information continues to evolve and come out, then every decade we carefully review that information and the Journal of Marital and Family Therapy puts out this very important issue to share the, um, this reliable source of information with clinicians. We also want to highlight that there is a need for continued efforts to use couple and family therapy interventions to promote mental health equity with underserved populations and diverse populations. And that to do that, we need to use research methods that are appropriate and culturally relevant for those populations. We were really excited for this issue to think about how to treat people from a lifespan perspective. So we wanted to know uh, and be able to share out information about how do we, you know, when people are suffering from depression or bipolar, you know, what do we do for youth and what do we do for adults and try to understand really how each, um, we can treat each condition from a lifespan perspective. Um, another thing we were really excited about this issue is really, um, looking at some new topics that we hadn't been able to address before. So for example, there's been a lot of research recently on suicide and we had never covered that before. So now we have a, a new um, article that's focused on, you know, what are the most well-established couple and family interventions for suicidal thoughts and behaviors. So we know that the last several months have been really hard on a lot of people. Um, and um, some folks have experienced things like anxiety, depression, child behavior problems, relational distress. And so we really want folks to know that there are well-established interventions, interventions that work for these different problems. And we're really hoping that that helps people um, have more confidence in terms of reaching out and seeking the mental health services that they need.